Uh, let's start with Mortal Kombat. So I've got uh, two. Oh, wait, no, look at this one. This is a, actually uh, the Mortal Kombat 1 and 2 uh, value pack. Somehow they managed to get both of these games in here, uh, which I think is pretty neat. That's, uh, you know, if you're going to be stuck with uh, a subpar game experience, you might as well you might as well put two together. You can see that dot matrix grid a little bit better here. We can actually turn that off really fast, just to, just to get a good basis. There we go, nice and clear. Beautiful. Mortal Kombat. Look at those colors. So you get six guys, you get Kano, uh, Raiden, I think that's Johnny Cage. Or maybe that's, um... Fuck, I forget his name. Liu Kang? And then, one of the ninjas, one of the ninjas, and... I want to say that's Sonya Blade? <laughs> I can't tell. I don't know who these two are supposed to be. Let's pick this guy. Oh, I'm Scorpion, apparently. Okay, so... This is one of those games, uh, very similar to Street Fighter 2, where it's going more for trying to emulate the graphics of the arcade games and the console games more than uh, more than the actual uh, function. So it looks nice, you know. It's one of those games that looks great on the screenshots and the reviews uh, in the magazines. Uh, but I'll be damned if it kind of runs like butt. You know, this is 60 frames on the BGP right now, right? It's uh, pretty dang slow. You know, and even for being slow, it controls pretty well. As you can see, I just beat Kano, so obviously it can't be that bad. If I'm winning, things must be going well, right? But as we said, this is not nearly enough, right? It isn't enough to just sit here in a modern emulator with a modern screen and a modern computer and say, oh man, this game looks like butt, right? We gotta go one step further. We gotta see what it looked like on the original keyboard. So let's get, on, let's get that set up. So turn on the DMG. I'm just gonna let him kick my ass for a little bit. Switch it back to... LCD and turn on the dot matrix and apply. Oh wait, no, I'm sorry, that's the wrong one. That's BGB LCD. We need DMG reality. There, yes. Delicious. So this is probably the closest what we can get to, besides just setting up a camera in front of an actual Game Boy to what things would have looked like. Oh shit, you just kicked me. Really had to think about it there, didn't it? <laughs> kind of get that really neat. That's another thing, the, um, the fade to black. Or the fading of a, a dark, dark dot matrix, whatever cell to bright. Uh, you kind of got that neat, uh, like, almost like a light turning off effect. And you can kind of see that if you ever uh, fired up like a Pokemon on uh, an original Game Boy and played it on there, you'd get some really cool flashing effects uh, based on that too. So unlike Fist of the North Star, this game actually had combos, I believe. Um, so you can do an uppercut, you can do a leg kick. I haven't figured out the leg kick yet. Uh, you can do a throw. And I believe, I may be mistaken, but I believe each of the characters has a signature move they can do. Possibly, I don't know. I haven't found it yet, honestly. 
Oh, there's a sweep. Okay, so uh, leg sweep is back in a uh, back in A. There we go. And uppercut is down in B. Um, so the controls are controls work. You know, controls are fun. I'm probably gonna spam leg sweeps now that I figured that out. I didn't know that one previously. And I don't think there's any way to block. Um, okay, so he has he stole my idea. Kind of a pause there, like it's thinking. Okay, so as we can see, not running the fastest. So let's go ahead and turn it off just a smidge. Kind of see what we're gonna get there. So 80 works really well for Street Fighter 2. I'm gonna apply that. Here. Let's go ahead and take Kano out. Yeah, it is Sun. Okay. Yeah, it is Luke Kane. Luke Kane and Sun. Yeah, that's that's doing a lot better now. Oh yeah, look at that. I'm able to do so much more. Oh hey, that's different. I should do that. Okay, there's a throw. I think it's up and B or B and up. One of those two. There we go. Like in this uh, counters or Kano is just a, a guy in a gi more than anything. Can't really tell what's going on there. I've always found a problem just fundamentally with the original. Uh, The original uh, Mortal Kombat is like there's really no counter for spamming punch, just your regular punches once you get into it. The music's not terrible, but it's kind of like about what you expect from early Game Boy. Um, let's see, I think boy, I'm gonna have to get my fucking dates right. I think Mortal Kombat came out in 93, and this kind of came out the same year-ish. So, what they were trying to do was pretty ambitious, right? Okay, I want to turn it up just a smidge bit more. It's getting much better spots, but I'll go up to 95. Don't ask me why 95 is the, the secret number. Just, just is to Yeah, this is so much better. Yeah, this is doing well. going back to like the most modern way to play this now. So we're at 95 frames per second with the SGB uh, palette. Basically running it as like obviously emulated, you know. And it's it's pretty nice. I'm actually, I'm enjoying I'm, I don't know what I'm doing to poor Liu Kang, but I'm doing something. <laughs> lightly tapped him, and he's dead. God damn, I can never fucking catch that. Oh, 
Oh, how do you block? How do you block? That's a good question. Do you block? Nice. I don't know how I'm winning these. I guess we're just gonna go until I lose. I don't know. We got four more fucking uh, <laughs> more combats to get through, though, so we can't stay on one. Oh, how do you teleport? Holy shit, man. I just threw myself over his back, I guess. Oh, 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 oh. cool. Okay. I don't know how I did that, but I did that. So I think that's just... So, uh... That's back and punch. Stop it, I want to do that. Oh, he did the thing! He did the thing, y'all. Okay, I lost. <laughs> Alright. So... That is Mortal Kombat 1.